before I jump into this video here, I did want to jump on here and apologize. Uh, I'm actually wearing the same shirt now, but I was wearing a Blue Rag Company whiskey shirt, which I wear these shirts all the time because they're extremely comfortable. But I was wearing this shirt and it had a grease stain like right there on the stomach. So my apologies about that. Apologies about the mess in the back. Most of my detailing stuff isn't here right now. It's actually in my vehicle. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that was actually filmed, I want to say, December 20th. Today's January 13th or 14th. So my apologies for not actually doing anything. I kind of dropped the ball on it. But anyway, uh, yeah, so... And then also I realized while I was unboxing this stuff, I was touching the paper way too much. So it was extremely loud in the microphone. So again, that's also my apologies. I'm, I'm learning. I'm new to this whole videoing thing. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and let's hop right into the video. I wanted to do a little quick unboxing. Sorry, I'm wearing sunglasses and the ride company hat because I'm trying to use the sun that way I have decent lighting, but it kind of hurts when it's in your eyes. But anyway, I wanted to do an unboxing. This is my Wowo's products from the ride company. So yeah, I am extremely excited. I, I was recently out visiting the ride company and I got to play with most of these out there, which were phenomenal. But anyway, so we're gonna do a quick little unboxing and I am planning, uh, sorry about the camera footage and the audio. I wanted to use my GoPro and put it on my chest here on the chest mount, but I couldn't because I don't know where my GoPro is. So I'm using my Samsung Gear 360. But anyway, we'll pop this open. Oh, there's my dog. Latte. So anyway, I got a couple other things more than the rag company stuff, more than the Wowo stuff, but anyway, sorry, I was looking what that was, uh, got a gamma seal lid, because I generally do my washing at a local self-serve car wash, so I want to be able to seal up, I want to take a bucket of hot water to wash the vehicles with, so I got a gamma seal lid, it, for those who don't know what a gamma seal lid is. This snaps onto your bucket, rubber o-ring there, rubber o-ring there, so it keeps your bucket sealed. It's twist on instead of the snap on ones, which are a pain on the butt to use. We got a lot of sprayers. A lot of sprayers. Let's set those back behind the camera. Um, okay, we have the Detail Factory mini brushes. This is a dyed, uh, bleached boar hairs. This is a synthetic, works phenomenal for getting in the vents and whatnot. Just a nice, small, little brush. We have the short-handled black boar's hair brush. This is phenomenal for like wheels. We have, ooh, this is one of the ones I'm extremely excited for. Uh, where's my knife? This is, uh, one that they just brought over, um, depending on when you're watching, because they have the initial launch, then they will be launching more products as time goes on. But, wow, they that's something the ride company is extremely good at packaging their products. But, this is Wowo's Contact 121. Contact 121. Contact 121 is an extremely hydrophobic wax, and it smells great. It's, it's, I think it's kind of mango-y. I forget what the technical scent is, but there's like a tinge of mango in there. But yeah, no, I'm extremely excited for that. Contact 121, the contact angle, when you put on bare clean paint, will meet or exceed 121 degrees which are better than most ceramic coatings on the market to this date that I'm videoing. 
So, yeah, it's an extremely hydrophobic. I got a bunch of towels here. Honestly, I'm not positive what all. I got Eagle microfiber applicators for applying a product I got here. This red one here is for the Contact 121. Yeah, I got some Eagle 350s, Eagle 500. I believe that's an Eagle 500. Pearls, uh, Premium Terry's. There's a couple, yeah. These are FTWs, these blue ones on the back. There's, there's a lot of towels in here. It's part of the 12 Days of Christmas sale. And this bag here, I, I knew what all was coming from when I, I collected this all when I was out at the rag company. We got my other Cars in Elantra sticker. And then in here, we have a Wowos air freshener, which I believe this is Green Apple, if I remember right. A rag company air freshener. I believe, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if I said that was an air freshener or a sticker. It's an air freshener. But anyway, that's Green Apple. I believe that, I believe this is sweet water, something like that. And then I got a handful of stickers. This is the, I believe it's gray camo. Uh, this is the ones that they generally give away during flag holidays, 4th of July type of thing. This is their Halloween one. This is a Wowos, and then this is a larger, I believe they call it snow camo if I remember right, but don't hold me to it. So, that's what that stuff is. So the side there. Oh crap, things are really wrapped up in here. I'm just gonna shift this to the side a little bit. This is a bottle of their quick detailer. I'm not a quick detailer person until I tried this stuff out in Boise. I tried it on Levi's wife's car. This stuff is serious stuff. It's extremely slick, smells phenomenal. I love it. I believe I got a couple bottles of this actually. This is the tire restore. It's basically tire dressing. It's it's a long lasting. And this is their leather cleaner. Spray on, wipe off, or you can use something like a DLB brush or one of the detail factory brushes. And just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. I'm gonna quickly zip up my jacket. I'm wearing my Rag Company whiskey. This is the blue Rag Company whiskey shirt. But, oh, just a second, I gotta let this car go by. And again, I'm sorry about any audio because, yeah, I got an ideal setup, but yeah, so. Then, this is a bottle of their crystal sealant. This is a nanopolymer sealant, so it's a polymer sealant, but it has resins in it. It is an extremely tough sealant. It's technically spray-on. You use a sprayer to spray it, but uh, that's what I got the Eagle applicators for. Spray it on the applicator and wipe it on. It is extremely tough, so if you, you kind of want to treat it in, as a coating in the aspect of you want to wipe small areas at a time because it will become extremely hard to wipe off. This is their detailer shampoo. Phenomenal. I should say this doesn't have much of a scent. Leather cleaner smells like leather. Quick detailer. I'm not, I can't remember what it smells like right now. The tire restore is a peach. This is a, is a fairly unique scent. But let me just throw that back in my bed. Another bottle of the Quick Detailer. Uh, before this arrived, I already ordered two more bottles of it because it is phenomenal Quick Detailer. A second bottle of the Crystal Sealant. This is the Fallout Remover. So it removes embedded iron and stuff. This stuff, iron removers are known to smell terrible. This stuff, like even when you open up the bottle, you'll have that slight tinge, but it doesn't really smell much. But when you're actually using it, you don't smell the nasty iron remover like you normally do. This is their interior cleaner. This is clean. You have coffee spilled in your cup holder. You have a extremely dusty dashboard, that type of thing. It's a good interior cleaner. You can use it on carpet. This is their showstopper. This is about a one or two day product. It's literally pure gloss in a bottle. You spray it on, 
wipe it off and it's going to be the glossiest it will be right then. It's more you get to a car show, if you don't really have any dust on it at all, spray that on to get that last little bit of pop on there. If you do, then I would advise you using something like the quick detailer first, just to keep it from, just to keep from um, scratching the surface. This is their interior finisher. This is to, to protect the surface after you clean it. And here comes another car. My apologies. I'm not sure, I hope the wind isn't affecting the audio too much, but it smells phenomenal. It, it, I can't remember what this scent, you want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack it open. Like I said, they package these things extremely well. It, I believe they say it's considered a fresh scent. Yes, le I'll read the bottle here. It says, you've cleaned it, now protect it. Wobo's interior finisher is an anti-static cockpit finisher used for all interior plastics and hard surfaces that leave a soft satin sheen and a fresh scent. Uh, I use this out at the ride company. I love the scent of it. <laughs> I would, throughout the day, I'd just go in the store and take a whiff of the bottle. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a unique scent, but I, I absolutely love the scent. Definitely recommend that one. I believe I got at least two bottles of that also. Let me throw that back in. I'm filming on the bed of my truck. I'm not littering. I'm throwing it into the bed of my own truck. Another bottle of the interior finisher. Like I said, I tried a lot of these out there, so I know what they're like. This is their waterless wash. This is kind of like an OptiClean. You sprue for a lightly dirty car. Or if you go use something like ONR, Optimum No Rinse, use this as like a pre-treat. It's a phenomenal waterless wash. Uh, this is their leather cleaner. Uh, sorry, cream. It is a leather conditioner. Smells like new leather, that type of thing. And then we have the Wowos All-Purpose Cleaner. Uh, I haven't experimented with this one, but what I understand is it's just a good all-purpose cleaner. Just cleaning. If you have extremely dirty interior, cleaning tires, wheel wells, rubber floor mats, engine bays, that type of thing. And, well, things are falling out of the bottle here. And then we have their clean wheels. This is a wheel cleaner. It is extremely strong. It's not for sale on the website as of now because it is extremely strong. If you were to, if you didn't dilute it, like one of the guys there, they tried it on their wheels straight. They now it was a cheap powder coat job, but they sprayed it on the wheel and it started to destroy the paint. Started to eat away the paint. So this is one that you dilute. I believe you can dilute it as high as 30 to one. If I remember right, I'd have to double check with Levi, but yeah, it, it's extremely dilutable. You don't want to use it straight. The only way you'd use it straight is if you have those wheels that haven't been cleaned in like five years that are curb rashed and whatnot. That's the only time you wouldn't do that. This is their glass cleaner. No scent, it's a good glass cleaner. It's designed to clean glass well. Yeah, not, nothing real special, but I'll be right back. These these are blown around the bed, the packing paper. So I don't want it to affect the audio. My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm back. Then there's I believe that's the second. Yeah, they got another bottle of clean wheels. Like I said, I got it. You can buy it in store because they have to make videos and whatnot on this. Because you can. It's a phenomenal wheel cleaner, but if you don't know what you're doing, you can mess things up. And yeah, so that is. That's what I got. Uh, I'd have to look up everything. Mm, excuse me. I'm sorry. Have to look everything up. Uh, I know these are FTWs. This purple one here is a purple pearl. The yellow are premium Terry's. Uh, there's a couple blue diamond ones that go with the glass cleaner. And then just random. This is, like I said, this is just a nice, comfortable applicator to go along with the uh, Contact 1.1. So the only two products that I didn't get that are available in the USA right now are Mallow Wax, which is just a good show car wax.
personally, right now I have over an entire container of ammo cream, which is same thing. They're around the same price point too. It's a good show car wax, so I want to clean that up before I go buying more because I'm not using show car waxes very often. So I didn't want to buy more. And their tar and glue remover. I I'm using Optimum Tar. I have a bunch right now. I don't really need to experiment with it right now, but I probably will do some type of video with it down the road. But yeah. Uh, these are ice gray creatures, but I'm not, honestly, I'm not positive what all is in here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of towels. They have their 12 day of, 12 days of Christmas sale and they were, they combined everything for me. I bought all the products. They were throwing in what part of the 12 days of Christmas sale would be, but yeah. And this is what I was talking about. This is the Eagle applicator. It's, uh, eagle microfiber so it's a circular i believe it's circular knit weave micro microfiber applicator so anyway that's that uh i will be making videos on these products very shortly here um i'll st i can turn the well i can disconnect you here sorry about that this is sorry about the trash on the bed this is my 2003 Ford F350 for, uh, yeah, with a 7.3 diesel in it. It is extremely dirty right now. We just got a snowstorm yesterday. I pressure washed the worst of the crap off, but it is extremely dirty. Um, so I will be doing tests on here. What I'm planning to do with the bed here is put contact 121 probably on this side and then crystal sealant on that side and just play with it with different chemicals to see how chemical resistant it is and that type of thing but so you you'll see this here up shortly I'll be experimenting with it but yeah so here's like I said the detail factory brushes the mini ones the detail factory boars hair black that way you don't get crap now honestly there's not too much I would use on this wheel this wheel, this is just a, it's a plastic hubcap, so there's not too much I can, I can just hit that with my wheel and body brush, but my dad has a 2016 Ford Fusion uh, titanium, so those have, let me put you back up on the tripod here, those have a little bit more intricate where you really have to kind of get a look around the lug nuts, that's really what that's designed for. And then, yeah, the product, the Wobos product line, two of the clean wheels, one of the showstopper, again, clean wheels is a wheel cleaner, showstopper is literally just gloss in a bottle, it's not going to last long, the waterless wash, which I believe you dilute four to one if I remember right, their interior finisher, I have two of these, just after you clean your interior or if you have extremely light dusting on the interior, smells great makes all your plastics look great and I believe you can actually use that on your rubber floor mats after you clean them glass cleaner it's just a really good glass cleaner all-purpose cleaner again just really good all-purpose cleaner I haven't tried some of these but Levi and Anthony at the ride company tested with these it worked 18 months to redo this product line so if if the people, if Levi and Anthony at the ride company say you're getting very good products, you're going to get a very good product. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to be the best product you've ever used, but you, I guarantee you it is a very good product. That's flat out. If they say it, it is. They, and they won't, they're extremely honest people. They would not jeopardize their word just to sell a couple bottles of product. So, interior cleaner. Spilt coffee in your cup holders, cleaning your interior, just cleaning a dusty dashboard, that type of thing. Uh, two bottles of the crystal sealant. Again, extremely tough. You can probably get at least a year out of this. It's extremely tough. I will make a video on it. You, you want to do small sections at a time, two by two, three by three section at a time, no bigger. If you are getting the crystal sealant, it's a phenomenal product. Extremely slick afterwards. If you are getting it. Grab a bottle of the Quick Detailer. If you work too much while it's still fresh and curing, spray a little Quick Detailer 
it'll wipe away the streaks. I wouldn't use it unless you have to, but it's good to have. I haven't experimented with it. If any quick detailer works, I just know that works with that product. Leather cream, just a good leather conditioner. And like I said, I will be making videos on all these. Leather cleaner, good leather cleaner. I believe the leather cream and the leather cleaner are both leather scented. This is the detailer shampoo. I did not buy a ton of this right now. It's only the pint bottles, six, yeah, pint bottles, 500 milliliters, so 16.9 fluid ounces. That's what is available right now. They will be br having gallons available in the future. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have to jump in here before Dane shoots me. Just kidding. Dane would shoot me, but he would give me crap. Uh, I said that they'll be making gallons of the Woe products. It's not technically correct. They'll be making five liter jugs, which is more than a gallon. If you aren't up to date on that type of thing, it's more than a gallon. That's something that they're very proud of you getting more for your money. You're getting more products for your money. So it is not a gallon, and it's a five liter jug that will be coming. Not a gallon before Dane or anyone else on here gets upset. But anyway, so yeah, now. Sorry for interrupting, back into the video. But this is a very thin soap. So you put in your foam can and put it in your bucket. You don't really have to agitate it a ton to get it mixed in like some of your real thick soaps. Let me put that in that box. Let me crack this bad boy up and see what it smells like. Oh, I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it. It's semi-fruity, but I love the color of it. Like, I don't know if you can see that. It almost looks sparkly in the bottle. It's it's an awesome product. It, you can use it at light dilution just to have good shampoo, or you put it like two, three ounces in a foam cannon, and you will get some of the thickest foam you've ever seen in your life. You can just stack it on there. Uh, one bottle of the fallout remover, just a good remove embedded iron contaminants, turns purple when you spray it on. And it, well, assuming there's iron there. And then two bottles of the quick detailer, and I already ordered two more. One of the tire restorer, this is kind of like peachy scent. It's a good, long lasting tire iron, tire dressing, whatever the heck you want to call it. And again, contact 121. I'm extremely excited for that product. It, the hydrophobics are insane. Gamma seal lid and stickers and yeah, then the detail factory brushes. So anyway, if you made it this far into the video, I realize it's probably 25, 30 minute video at this point, at least I think so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I will be doing how to use and product reviews very shortly on the YouTube channel here. So if you wanna see it, keep an eye out for it and yeah, subscribe, hit the like button. If you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll get notified whenever I upload a video about this type of stuff. So if you can do that, that'd be awesome. If not, I understand. But yeah, I, I'll be having product videos coming up very shortly. So thank you again for watching and see you in the next one.